Okay, so today we are looking at my setup that I just built. It's a seven kino, seven tube kino, four foot long fixture. Um, I did not design them to come apart so you can pull them out, have single tubes. This is just like a big main key. But, um, and then I've got some backlights kind of illuminating back here, but that's normally there. But yeah, it's pretty soft. Um, I like the color rendition. It's like 91, 92 maybe. Um, no flicker that I can see at 24, 30. Um, at 60, I think you might start to see some, but that's the cost benefit value there. It cost me about 200 bucks to put this thing together. So let's take a look at it real quick and I'll show you how I made it. Okay, I wasn't recording before. And, and please, the, the mess, I've been very busy, so don't judge. Anyways, I did put a piece of 4x4 250 uh, gel up. Um, if you, uh, this, so yeah, this is 250. Lee is a great brand. Um, if you are just starting out, getting some actual gel diffusion is very important, like some quarter grid, some half grid, some 250, some 216, and opal. Those are different strengths of diffusion. And now opal, you won't be able to like just um, put up like this. You'd have to have an actual frame for it. Um, it's a little too brittle to, to just hang. So let me just show you the fixture. So it's kind of bright, may have to turn it off. Um, I 3D printed these. Yeah, it's too bright. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. So I 3D printed, uh, this holder right here. And I will, if you guys want to, um, if you have a 3D printer, you need to be able to at least print 150 millimeters wide to be able to print that. Um, the back of it is just uh, Cammon's, one of Cammon's brackets for right now. This is not official, but uh, yeah, just a piece of aluminum. And then this is how I wired it. Let me turn on my, okay. This is how I wired it. This is in parallel. Um, basically what we got here is Ziggy Zag, just cause I wanted one wire. Um, you cannot wire these in series because the voltage will drop. So what you'd have is tubes up here that are, for, oh my gosh. Anyways, before my wife rudely interrupted. So we have a Kino, a regular Kino. So, okay, so here is the, here's the thing. You have to go to Home Depot. Home Depot is the only one. You might be able to get them on um, Amazon. Let's see here. Okay, Toggled. That is the brand of these. They're, the ballasts are in just this side. The other side, they're just dummies. Hey, oh sweet, check it out. One of my uh, NATO rails just finished printing. Oh yeah, buttercup. Anyways, okay, so um, I need to figure out how to cover these so they're not, uh, so they're not uh, exposed, because that's obviously a, a dangerous situation. Um, anyways, that is it. So toggled, these are, I think are 1600 lumens a piece. Um, they're only 16 watts, but together it's about 11,000 lumens. Um, and again, there's no flicker because they run on 120, 120 AC, you don't use a, you don't really use a, uh, a ballast situation. So anyways, just kind of a quick update um, on the on the Kino fixture. So yeah, 200 bucks um, and it's all Home Depot. Home Depot parts and some 3D printed parts. Um, I've used it, I like the color. Again, um, this is, this is, uh, I'll kind of rotate. Again, there's a lot of spill coming off here, so maybe we'll do it this way so you can see the fall off. 
Um, and maybe I'll turn off. Uh, turn off these off, because that'll affect. Okay. Okay, so this should be a little bit better. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate. Mm, I need a die coat. So rotate, you can kind of see the fall off. Pretty, again, I'm using a four x four that's about two feet in front of the source. So that's gonna be um, a lot, a lot, so it's gonna wrap a lot more. Um, if you wanted more of a harsher look, um, we can try and we can get rid of this diffusion. And you can see the difference in how the harshness. Now, my phone might be um, adjusting for that, but you should see a definite difference in the fall off um, as I go, like, you know, as I rotate around. Still pretty, pretty um, dang soft just as is, but the, again, the softer you can get it, the better, I always say.